The Skylab astronauts are to be launched tomorrow, and here is Walter Cronkite's report from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On the surface, all is going smoothly for one of the most remarkable exploits in America's manned space program, the effort to send up a crew to repair the crippled Skylab and then stay aboard for 28 days of scientific research. Although the thunderstorms are on the Cape area this afternoon, the weather is supposed to be satisfactory tomorrow morning, and the countdown on target for launch at 9 o'clock. Our coverage at CBS News to begin on the CBS Morning News at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. But even if they get off on the mark, the astronauts Pete Conrad and Dr. Joseph Kerwin and Paul Weitz are going to be 10 days behind schedule. And that's because of the accident moment after, moments after Skylab's launch here a week ago Monday that ripped away a heat shield and crippled the Space Lab's uh, power plant. The heat problem apparently is more crucial than that uh, power shortage, and what must be done is to erect a sunshade over the Skylab. Now, an umbrella device is going to be pushed through a small opening in Skylab, and then uh, the umbrella deployed, opened up, and lowered down for a 22 by 24 foot cover here. Then toward the end of the mission, Conrad and Kerwin, working outside the Skylab, will erect a longer-lasting shade for the following missions. With me here is William Schneider, the director of the Skylab program. I'm wondering, Mr. Schneider, why all the rush? Uh, it, it does seem that, uh, that this has moved along a lot faster than most such things in the space program. Things don't seem to be being checked out as thoroughly as we're used to it in the past. The training of the astronauts has been really just a few days, only one day in that nearly zero gravity tank uh, in Huntsville. Uh, why the rush? Won't that Skyline wait up there while we train these fellows a little better? Well, in the first place, we really do think we are uh, ready to go. Uh, the vehicle right now is in what I classify as a controlled status. That is, it's not stable. It, it doesn't stay in any one condition by itself. The flight controllers in Houston and uh, with the technical experts from Marshall are having to continually alter the uh, orientation of the vehicle so that we can control the various temperatures. It's a uh, very delicate balance between thermal balance and electrical power and attitude control and they're continually having to change the vehicle. So we'd like to get up there as soon as we are ready and we now think we are ready. I'd like to make assure you that we haven't cut any corners. All of our documentation is there. We've examined all the materials, make sure that everything is right, and we have trained properly. Thank you very much, Mr. Schneider. So the launch team is confident. Uh, they predict that the shield will be uh, erected all right, the temperature controlled, and a full 28-day mission flown. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News, the Kennedy Space Center. Some of the nation's largest banks, with Chase Manhattan leading the way, today boosted their prime lending rate from 7 to 7 and a quarter percent. It was the fifth such hike this year. Chase and other banks indicated uh, their increases are linked to recent actions by the Federal Reserve Board to tighten the nation's money supply. The increases are not expected to raise interest rates on consumer and small business loans. The Nixon administration hasn't had much good economic news to report lately, but trade figures released today were so promising that Commerce Secretary Dent announced them himself 24 hours early. Dent said that in April, exports exceeded imports for the first time in 18 months, leaving the U.S. with a trade surplus of more than $196 million. The trade report helped today in sending the Dow Jones Industrials up more than 29 points on the New York Stock Exchange. It was the largest gain in the Dow since August 16, 1971, the day after Phase 1 started. Volume today was 17,300,000 shares. The average price per share gained $1.06 on the New York Exchange, 14 cents on the American. Second high-level British government official resigned today in the midst of what is being called the biggest sex scandal in Britain since the Profumo affair. Bill Plant reports from London. It all had a vaguely familiar ring about it. Lord Jellicoe, shown here in the business suit in this recent footage, leader of the House of Lords for Britain's ruling Conservative Party, resigned after admitting to what he termed casual affairs with call girls. It was just 10 years ago that John Profumo resigned from the cabinet after his relationship with a model by the name of Christine Keeler was exposed. But there is one big difference. Profumo at first lied to the House, 
Jellicoe apparently offered the information as soon as he was asked. Another peer, Lord Lambton, a junior official in the cabinet, resigned on Tuesday after attempts were made to blackmail him with photographs made in this luxury apartment in London's Maida Vale section, apparently the residence of a coal girl. A grim Prime Minister Heath emerged from a cabinet meeting earlier today to assure Parliament that no other ministers or public servants were involved and that there had been no breach of the national security, something with which the government had been very concerned after the Profumo affair ten years ago. Rush hour passers-by asked if this could be compared to the Watergate saw little in common for the scandals, save two embarrassed governments. I say the Watergate affair is a much more serious affair. I think it's much more indicative of a state of corruption in the United States. Um, I think it'll probably prove that um, the allegations against the British minister, ministers aren't as uh, serious as those against the American uh, politicians. This follows a pattern of, of empires declining, you know. You've got your Romans, you've got your Spain, and there we go, little Profumo, and now you've got it with somebody else, you know. Sex in high places, violence. Look at the football matches over here. But that, that same old video game, the sexual scandals in, 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 in royalty and things like that. It's part of the pattern. It's part of the pattern. Much of history, you know, the crumbling down. But as far as Watergate goes, nothing. Never. No, really. Now you're just doing, you're just doing country to go yet. You've got to have this. I mean, in about 500 years' time, you might be able to draw a comparison, but not now. With newspapers hinting that other important figures could still be involved, the Prime Minister has promised a continuing investigation. Bill Plant, CBS News, London. That's the news this Thursday night. This is Roger Mudd, CBS News. Good night.